Hey guys, GT2King here, back today with another video. It's been around over a month, I think, since I've made a Steambot tutorial, and I thought I would get back into it, so I fixed up a few syntax errors, so if you want this updated code, there was a problem with like the admin accepting, or the bot accepting an admin's offer, but yeah, we're just, I'll just have that linked below with this code that we're going to be doing today as well. So today we're going to be doing crafting and the next episode will be the final one where I show you guys how to apply it to like a server and show you guys how to make it run 24-7. So the first thing we want to do is use the TF2 module, which we're just going to call Team Fortress 2 and we need it to require the TF2 module. And we're also going to call a new TF2 instance, like a client, so we'll just call new Team Fortress 2, and we're going to use the Steam user client, so we'll just call it client, and we should actually put that under this, so just because, yeah, it's called there. So now it's perfectly fine, and we're just going to start at the bottom. We'll just make a crafting section. And I'll have to organize all this code to let you guys know what everything does. But the first thing we want to do is call a variable. So we're going to call it the amount or scrap amount. We'll just shorten that. And this is the amount of scrap that you're going to want to craft if you ever do. So whenever you craft, this is how much you're going to have basically. It's not always that accurate because the TF2 game client server is not that um, accurate but it does its job and it crafts change so we're just gonna set this to like 25 and again you could change it to whatever you want you could do like config dot scrap amount so you don't have to um, put it in here and you could just edit it in the config file but we're just gonna throw it in here we're also gonna call the poll craft if you wanted to pull X amount of or every X amount of time so this is in minutes, We're, this is going to be in minutes, you'll see why, because we'll just set an interval, but we'll just set that to like every half an hour, again if you don't want it you could just remove it. And now what we want to do is call the TF2 on, so whenever it goes on the, or whenever it does the connected to game client, we're going to call it a function. And whoops, not like that. And yeah, I'm just messing up my syntax. It's been quite a while. So we're just gonna make it log in the console. Um connected to the game no connected to TF2 game server. So this just tells you it's been logged on to TF2. Now another thing you want to do is whenever you log on, so where it are where does it say we log on? I think it's right here. There we go. So um, it's not going to be able to go into TF2 if you have like a custom game, I think. I was having problems with it before, so I just removed it. Whoops, where were we? So we're just going to set it to 440 without the custom game. I think it should be possible unless you... Well, you could splice it here, but we're not going to do that for now. We're just going to set it to default 440. So it just plays TF2. We also want to do tf2 on backpack loaded. So whenever it loads the backpack, it's a function, and we're gonna make it just tell us in the console that it loaded our backpack. So oh, we forgot a semicolon there as well, and put one there. Now what we want to do is just set up the craft scrap function. So we're just going to call it craft s. And we could actually just, now let's just call it craft s for now because you could do craft, yeah, whatever. And this is the amount of scrap that we're going to be wanting. So we're just going to call the scrap or amount needed, amount needs scrap. And now we want to check if the backpack is actually loaded. So we're going to do if tf2 dot back, whoops, backpack is undefined. So if it doesn't read or it can't read the backpack, which is what it does if it's not in tf2 usually, we're just going to make it say unable to load backpack. K 
can't craft. And then we're just gonna return and do an else. So if it can't um, load the backpack, it'll just log it. Otherwise, it will try and craft. So we're gonna do console.log. Um, we'll just say attempting to craft instead of crafting. And after that, we're gonna call the var amount of scrap to be zero. So that's just the baseline. So it doesn't like add or minus whatever we have set up. And now we want to call or we want to define the def indexes. So this is going to get a little bit complicated. This is old code of mine. So we're, I'm just going over and trying to explain as best I could. So for if r i is zero, um, i is less than tf2 dot backpack dot length i plus plus so it's gonna add it if it's less than the amount i think it's a good way of explaining i can't really explain it that well and now we need to define the item so like ref or whatever it is so if tf2 dot backpack i dot def index is equal oh the i is capitalized if def index is equal to 5000 then we're gonna make the amount of scrap plus plus now down here after this one for var so this is for like ref and or rec and scrap i believe i think it does both or I think one's defining the ref and I don't know which very um, def index 5000 is but I'm just gonna keep going over it so for var i is equal to zero basically doing the same thing i is less than we could just copy this actually where should we st okay we'll just copy it from here var so this is gonna be 5002 amount of scrap is okay so it's um more or equal to nine and now we're gonna make a new array so let me just get that up here so now what we're gonna do is amount of scrap we're gonna call beep is our new array and beep is going to put this new array is going to be pushed into a parse in tf2 dot backpack id no i dot id so i can't really explain what it's doing here we're just trying to define it and telling it what to do with the variables of the recipes basically so now what we're going to do is just finish that up there. I think everything's been syntaxed fine so far. Oh, we're missing some syntax. I think we're missing one. So yeah, that shouldn't be there. Well, we haven't finished yet. So now we're gonna do, where are we? Okay, so now we're just gonna call the craft function and do tf2 craft beep. So it's just calling this and then it's gonna craft it so now what we're gonna do is call an else if function I need to fix up the syntax afterwards so we're gonna do else if and copy all of this again I think we should be good here until here else if all right, so this should be it. The syntax is still a bit messed up, but now what we're gonna want to do is change these def index IDs to for var. Let me just see here. This is all live, so I'm looking at my other computer just showing, that's showing me how this has been done. So, okay. 
Um, I don't really know how. I'd... Okay, so else if. Oh, that's what. This isn't supposed to be there. Or is it? So TF2 craft beep. Where is that? The first one. There it is. So TF2 craft beep. Else if TF2 backpack deck index is 5001 which is ref oh I get what it's doing so this is if it's ref it's gonna t change it into nine scrap or if it's rec it's going to change it into plus e or three scrap it's basically telling you the recipe because it uses the custom recipes so it will just use Varby new array so if we just put that Oh, actually, we could just use this part instead and change that. So plus equals three, five thousand one, and remove that. So that should be good, actually. And afterwards, right after this one, we're going to do if the amount of scrap is greater than or equal to the amount of needed scrap, it's just going to break. So it's just going to cut up because we have more scrap than we need. So it's not going to do the function. Now, I believe the syntax looks fine. I think we just are missing one. No, we're not. So I think we should be pretty good on syntax. Actually. Yeah, we are. So syntax is perfect. Everything's lined up. And now we're just going to set the interval and we're going to put an admin command on it as well as well as we're just going to log um, tf2 on crafting complete so whenever it finishes crafting we're just gonna call function e which is the error if there is one at all but we're just gonna do console.log finished crafting so that should be good and oops we'll just close that off as well and now we're gonna do a message. So if you don't want to set interval and you just want to use a chat command to do it, we're just gonna do client on friend message, and we're gonna define it. Plus, I think we have it as owner ID on this bot, so we're just gonna do that. So the owner ID that you've defined in the config, like the your Steam ID, um, we're just gonna do function Steam ID and message so now we're gonna do if the message is equal to craft then the bot is going to perform the function craft s and scrap amount so that's basically what it's going to do and if it can't do that we're just gonna do else console.log craft error and we'll just add a console.log here as well. Received order to craft from admin. So we should be good. That's the um, chat command that if you will, that you'll just type like craft in and it'll work. And now the last thing we want to do is set interval. This is pretty basic JavaScript now. Um, function and we want to do craft s scrap amount so basically what the chat command does but every certain amount of time so you, if you're offline you don't have to type it and now this is weird so oh so now what we just have to do is i see so after this we want to put a comma and we're gonna do it every um, you could do like you could call the config dot or the pull craft, which is what we're gonna do. Um, pull craft, and yeah, and that should be good actually. Oh, times sixty times pull craft. So yeah, now it's ready, and we're gonna go ahead and test it out, and I'll be back in just a sec before we test it out. Okay, so before we actually test the bot, we had some errors that I just looked over. 
and this should be config dot owner ID with a comma. I put an M. I accidentally I meant to type a comma, but we typed an M. So now it should be perfectly fine. Now what we're gonna do is just open a command window and just do like node bot. If you have a batch file, just run the batch file and you should be good. As you can see, it's successfully logged on. And what it's gonna do now is try to connect to the TF2 game server if it can. It did a second ago, so I don't know what's happening now. Oh, anyway, the, what I don't even know why that opened. So it loaded our backpack and it connected to the TF2 game server as well as you could see here. The bot's in TF2 and it currently has a ref, I believe, in its backpack. Okay, so we're just going to type craft to it and see what it does. Um, whoops, we shouldn't have opened that. I don't think it's recognizing the command. So config.ownerid. So yeah, it should be working actually, which is weird. Unless something's wrong with the bot. So I'll be back in just a sec. We're gonna see if we could figure out. Maybe I just haven't defined owner ID. Who knows? Okay, so it was actually fine. It just took a second because I guess my internet's slow. But as you can see, it said received order to craft from admin and it finished crafting. So as you can see, if we re reload it, um, it hasn't updated because the TF2 game server is pretty bad. But if we type craft again, it should come up in a second because I guess my internet was just slow. So we're just going to keep reloading and see if the items go into the bot's inventory, like the change which they should because I had a ref in it before to test and all of this scrap became a ref so I think it should get the command any second now I my internet's being really slow actually because this is running locally and not on a server so it's relying on my internet and I guess it's just being really slow and anyways as you could see I guess it's still ha oh well okay I was about to close it, but I guess it started working. But anyways, I guess the TF2 server is just being really slow. Let's just try restarting the bot, maybe that'll help. So we're just going to type node bot. And if it hasn't reloaded... Oh, as you can see, all the scrap be crafted in our backpack. So you could probably do the same thing for ref, you just have or rec, you just have to play around with the def indexes. And this was a pretty messy tutorial. I wasn't really planning on making this, but I thought I'd just get this series done and out of the way. So in the next week or so, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload a bot to a server and make it run 24-7. But either, either than that, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.